What up everybody, it's your boy, it's Jimbo86 and I'm back again with another awesome video and today we're going to do our SummerSlam predictions, aren't we? Yes, Jimmy? I am Epic Vlogs 44 this and I will Epic be Vlogs predicting 44. the WWE Flim Flam. SummerSlam, Flim Flam. That one, yeah. He's a bit crazy, this guy. What so. he said. Anyway, so yeah, SummerSlam's this Sunday. It is now today, what is it now, Friday? Right now it is Friday. Yes, it is, so correct. So really I need to get this video up soon because time's getting on. So anyway, yeah, it's um, so right. The the kickoff show has uh, changed a bit. Uh, we've got the we've got the uh, the Hardy Boys <laughs> versus Jason Jordan. Uh, sorry, Hardy, the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan versus the Miz and the Miz Taraj. They're on the kickoff show now. What do you reckon? What's your prediction, Henry? I'm gonna go for the Miz because I've heard of him. <laughs> Big time fan. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I hope it's the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan, and I think it is going to be the Hardy Boys and Jason Jordan. I think Jason Jordan will start to get that bit of a push now that he's on Raw and he's cut Angle's son and everything like that. But yeah, so I'm going to go with the Hardys, and I'm going to go with Hardys and Jason Jordan for that one. Um, then we got, yeah, the Cruiserweight Championship, Akira Tozawa. Ah! I ain't got a clue. Anyway, he won it the other day, quite surprisingly. So, uh, um, I hope he retains. I hope he doesn't just, you know, win it and then lose it the next next pay-per-view. So, yeah, I think they've had it a long time. So, I'm going to go with... Ah! 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 Akira Tazawa. I'll go with that! <laughs> Neville? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the other guy. The, the, the one who... Apparently shouts a lot. Uh, Akira Tozawa, that is. Yeah, that's yes. what I'm going for. Right, scroll up then. Oh, then we got the demon, Finn Balor boy and whatnot. This is two I've heard of who I know are both quite good, so now I'm kind of clueless. Yeah, <laughs> they've had a bit of a feud going on lately. On um, Raw the other night, <laughs> Bray Wyatt poured, like, like blood or some something over, for, over Finn Balor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll go for red food colouring for um, legal purposes. <laughs> yeah. So, whatever it was. Implying it. So, who are you going to go for that one? The demon Finn Balor versus the crazy, weird, awesome Bray Wyatt's the one with the hat, isn't he? Yeah. And he comes yeah. out with his little lantern. Yeah, him. Mm -hmm. Be an interesting match. What, what are you going for? I'm going to go for Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Finn Balor too, because mm, he's my boy and whatnot. <clears throat> right, what we got next then, hence, Big Show versus Big Cass with Enzo Amore suspended in a shark cage above the ring, I do believe. How the hell does that work? Yeah, they did it with Chris Jericho a little while back. He, yeah, literally, you get suspended in a shark cage above the ring. So does he just stand there, or do they, like, No, he's just he's point? literally just in it. It's just so he can't be involved in getting interfering. So, the, so they literally just going to stand there the whole match. Yeah, he's just going to stand in the shark cage so that he can't come and interfere at all. Not that he makes much difference. He's only small. It just takes one punch and he's out and he all the time. But yeah, that's how they're doing that. So, um, I mean, <sighs> oh, because aren't Enzo Amore and Big Cass starting to do each other? They were tag team partners, but um, this is the thing—they fell out now. Big Cass turned heel on him, yeah. so. Yeah, so um, it's going to be an interesting one because obviously Big Cass is seven foot tall and you can't teach that. But also Big Show is seven foot tall and you can't, you know. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting one. Um, I personally probably would go... But I'm, I, 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 I think, I don't know, I think Big Cass will probably start to get a push soon. It's probably Big Cass, but I don't know. You know, for this one, I'm going to go with Big Show. Actually, I'm going to go with Big Show for this one. Um, it's early days of the feud, so I'm going to go with Big Show. What, who, who do you reckon? Well, it's the Big Show. So that's two for the Big Show. Uh, and then we've got, out of nowhere, Randy Orton versus Rusev Mujinagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
Um, um, New Day won it. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I, I think New Day, so I, I've heard of the Usos, I can't remember who they are. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go with New Day anyway. New Day will, uh, I'm pretty sure New Day, yeah, they, they won it not long ago, and, you know, and uh, I think they're going to keep hold of it for a little while longer. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to go for with New Day. Okay, for so the Smackdown's women's champion, we have Name I Can't Pronounce versus Alexa Name Blue. I Can't Pronounce. No, that's, the, Smackdown. that's oh, Raw. Which one do you want about, sorry? Smackdown, that's Raw. Oh, it's Naomi versus Natalia. I hope Natalia doesn't win. I like, a lot of people don't like Naomi, but I actually really like Naomi. I think you know, I don't know who either of them are. Actually, Naomi is um, she's actually married to Jimmy Uso or Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, I think. Hey, John in real life. But you may not. You know, one of the Uso she's married to. She comes out. I don't know if you've seen it there with like the glowy glasses and the belt glowing and the. No. I know you don't really watch it, do you? No. But um. No. So yeah, well I'm gonna go with Na- uh, Naomi. Because I know a lot of people wanted to lose it, but no, I, I like Naomi, actually, champion, for now. So, yeah, I'll go, Naomi for me. I'm going to go with name I can't pronounce. Natalia. They're both names I can't pronounce. What, you but... can't pronounce Naomi? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, to me, that reads as Naomi. No, that's Naomi. I'll go with them, yeah. Naomi. <laughs> right, same as me, then. Yeah. All right, then we've got the SmackDown Women, uh, the, the, sort of the Raw Women's Championship match. Alexa Bliss uh, and Sasha Banks. Legit boss. So we got the Five Feet of Fury Alexa Bliss versus the legit boss Sasha Banks. What do you reckon, Hens? Wasn't Sasha Banks in the last predictions video we did? More than likely. I'm sure most of them were, Henry. Actually, yeah. <laughs> pay per view. Pay per view. Pay per views, yeah. you know, yeah. big stars on pay per views, you know. Uh, I'll let you choose first. I'll go with Sasha Banks. Yeah, it's not a bad shout, to be fair. I've got a feeling Sasha might take it, you know? Alexis Bliss has been a champion for a while now. Sasha hasn't had the belt for uh, quite some time. You know what? I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. Well, Henry, you know. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with Sasha Banks. You know, I do like... Uh, Alexis Bliss is awesome, but uh, yeah, i got a feeling Sasha's going to take it. Yeah, yeah, Sasha Banks. Yeah, good mm-hmm. one. We have Caesar Salad Sauce, Pasty White, Ambrosia Yogurt, and Seth Rollins. All right, so it's the Raw Tag Team Championship. I should have said Roman Reigns for the joke because I always get those two mixed up. Yeah. Raw Tag Team Championship, Cesaro and Sheamus versus former Shield members, possibly getting back together, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Um, Dean know. Ambrose and Roman Reigns. I think it's a bit soon for Rollins and Ambrose to be winning the Tag Team titles, although it wouldn't surprise me if they did win it. A lot of people think they're going to win it, and a lot of people think they are then going to go and help Roman Reigns win it in the win the Universal Championship in the main event, and and uh, you know join the Shield completely back together. But I'm not, you know, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Ambrose and Ray, uh, Rollins to win that one. Yeah, what do you reckon? I'm going to go with Caesar Salad Sauce and Pasty White Shame Old Shame Old. Okay. Then what we got United States Championships A. J Styles. I don't like him. Versus Kevin Owens. You don't like him. Oh, and you got Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon is the special guest referee, yeah. They've both bled him, knocked him out in previous weeks, accidentally. So, (laughs) uh, yeah, so that'd be a good one. That would be a really good match, actually. Um, I'm going to go with AJ Styles to retain. I'm going to go with Kevin Owens. Did we even say Kevin Owens was in this? I can't remember. Yeah, look, Kevin Owens. Well, yeah, but I can't remember before you remember to say it. (laughs) I'll yeah. go with him, though. AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens, yeah. Okay. <laughs> then we got the... You can't see me. <laughs> yeah, he wins. The leader of the C-Nation, John Cena, versus Baron Corbin, who <laughs> are the worst money in the bank cash-in on SmackDown on Tuesday. He came out... John Cena wins cashed automatically. It in. Tried punching John Cena. <laughs> Well, he did punch John Cena, but then Jinder Mahal rolled him up. Terrible roll-up as well. And, uh, yeah, that was the worst cash-in in in history. Money in the bank cash-in in in history. But there you go. I'm going to go with JC. I think Jesus Christ will win. Jesus Christ will win it. John Cena, better than Jesus Christ, by the way. Yeah, I sent you that, didn't I? Yeah, then we've got the WWE Championship. Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Well, I honestly haven't even heard the first one. No. Oh, the second one. No. Well, Jinder Mahal, jobber Jinder, six months ago. Now, WWE champion out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm going to go with Shinsuke. He's going to take it. Yeah, if me too. Jinder retains at SummerSlam, 
people will not be happy. And I will not be happy. I'm sick of Jinder being champion. Poor champion. Anyway, yeah, so uh, Shinsuke for me. Shinsuke for you? Yeah. Now, this is the one. This is the interesting one. The main event. Universal Championship. Brock Lesnar is the champion. And Seth Rollins. <laughs> So we've got Brock Lesnar as the cha Universal Champion defending against, in a fatal four-way, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman. And Samoa Joe, you forgot him. I ain't finished my sentence yet. He's made it sound like you had. No, I was just, you know, building it up. Oh. Samoa Joe. A lot of people think Samoa Joe's going to win it. I need to be fair. I also do think Samoa Joe will win it. Although there's been a lot of speculation on... Uh, on um, Facebook and well, on the internet in general, that uh, maybe Brock Lesnar will keep it because you know they Paul Heyman come out and said if Brock Lesnar loses, then we will leave the WWE. And apparently he's been advertised for Raw the following night, but that doesn't mean he's not going to lose it. That just means he will probably be on Raw the next night saying that's it. Then I am done with the WWE and I'm out of here. So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I'm going to just go with Samoa Joe. Although a lot of people are kind of expecting Samoa Joe. I don't think Roman Reigns will win it just yet, even though everyone thinks, oh, the Shield are going to get back together and they're going to help Roman Reigns win the championship. I don't think it's going to go down like that. So I'm going to go with the Samoan Joe. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Spock Lesnar. Spock Lesnar. Yeah, he could retain. Very good, well retain. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our SummerSlam predictions. Uh... Let us know in the comments what your predictions are, if you agree with us, and you, you know. Well, it's um, co-presented by KFC. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for, I'm just doing my outro, but you know, we'll talk all over me if you want. So yeah, there we are. Uh, if, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what we do, then hit that subscribe button. Like I say, leave some comments, let us know what you reckon, and I will leave it there, and I will say goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on you the next one. You should subscribe to me and funnier.